have talked about let me let me recap what we have discussed so far so we have talked about higher high higher low and then making a strategy out of it which is a multi time frame then we talked about two chart patterns then we talked about two candlestick patterns then we talked about fundamentals this is what we have talked about so far right okay now let us talk about a couple of indicators and how we can apply the derivative trading strategy in that and i want everyone's attention i hope everyone understands the basic of futures as well as options right let me first show you the payoff diagram and i am using opstra i am using opstra.defineedge.com just in case you do not have an account in that okay let me go to opstra let me go to options here and i'll go to strategy builder listen to me very carefully leave everything aside please pay your uh, complete attention here for example we do not have a currency and a commodity chart here so i'll be showing you examples in equity markets but it implies almost the same for commodity and currency markets when you for example nifty futures buy so when you buy nifty futures you can make unlimited money when the market goes up and you lose unlimited money when the market goes down similarly if you reverse the position you short sell nifty futures you make money a lot of money when the market goes down and you lose a lot of money when the market goes up that's the basic futures right i hope everyone knows this that in the futures market you can buy or you can short sell and in both the case your profits and losses are unlimited but that is not the topic for the day the topic for the day is option here so instead of futures i go to options if you buy a call option like nifty is trading at 19144 if you buy let us say 19200 call option whenever you buy a call option you can make unlimited money when the market goes up while you will only be losing limited amount of money when the market goes down so as a call buyer you make a lot of money when the market goes up while you lose limited amount of money when the market goes down the opposite of you you is for example is a call buyer only be losing the premium can only lose the premium while can make unlimited profit while if i am the counterpart then if the market goes down i make limited profit of the premium while i lose unlimited money if the market goes against me if the market goes right now why does someone buy a call sorry why does someone sell a call when you can lose a limited unlimited amount of money while you can only gain limited amount of money because even if the market stays here the call seller makes money and rather when the call seller was wrong and the market goes slightly up until here the call seller is making money while a call buyer will lose money if the market stays here will also lose money if the market goes slightly up he will only gain money if the market goes significantly up the other parties are put buyer and put seller so for example a put buyer will make money when the market goes down heavily and lose money premium only premium if the market stays here or the market goes up the opposite of this is put seller he makes limited money when the market goes up and the market stays here while he can lose unlimited money when the market goes down 